I tape at um, 30 frames per second. It used to be 24 frames per second, but uh, I stopped and moved to 30 frames per second. I am double checking before recording my song levels. Ideally, when you're, you're doing recordings, if you're your sound kind of peaking at minus 12 to like minus 9. That's an indication that your sound ain't going too bad. When you're boosting your, your sound levels, I forget what it stands for right now. But they have something called LUFS. And if your sound is about like at minus 16, I think is the, the ideal benchmark for YouTube and um, broadcast standards. So you could your video editor, you could check out things like LUFS and it will maybe have certain like a, a it's like a kind of tachometer, but for the, a speedometer, what is it called again? A hey, tachometer. One of them things. One of, one of them things, <laughs> right? It, so it's, it's a measurement and you could pass your audio through it. Ideally, you have different measurements that they want to be hitting when you have like sound in the background and whatnot. I double check things like my white balance are comfortable with where my audio coming in here right now. And the, the lower your microphone level is you'll reduce things like your ambient noise that they have in the background around you, you can't see it right now but around this room there there's certain i just have things like curtains and blankets that's kind of thrown around with the hope that it will absorb some of the sounds bouncing around in the room you you have a, a target to hit which is your thousand subscribers so yes subscribe to reaping where you saw help him hit that thousand subscribers it's going on it's going to be marvelous for him because it's going to open new doors for him and for you. When you hit that thousand subscribers, reaping all you so. What you need to do is you need to keep people on your channel for as long as possible. And that's why you have certain tools like the retention rate, the graphs to look at. The, you want to get a sense, I'll, I'll share a little insight into my analytics. I used to have mixed up in my stories a lot in, in a, say I'm producing a video. Somewhere around the one minute mark, I will start, I will insert a lot of B-roll and music shots. And what I realized for some strange reason, the viewers that were coming to my channel, they were moving away at that point in the video. So it helped me evolve and say, well, hey, here's what. The people who come into the channel, they're more interested in the story that I'm telling versus a nice collage of uh, shots and music. They, they're here for the story. So that's why you will, if you go back up maybe a year or two, you will see the evolution of the videos on YouTube because the, the goal is to keep people around on your channel. I say all that to get to this point, which is when you're ending a video, if you've hit the thousand subscribers already and your channel is monetized, when you're ending a video, you want to direct people's attention to another video that you have. So say, give me an example of a video that you would like somebody to watch after what we tape in here right now. Well, um... What is a video that comes to mind that you have on your channel that maybe the person who enjoyed this particular video, where would you direct them? Probably the core video with um, Sam Harry. So if you've enjoyed this video, there's another video with Jason, Lyndon Batiste, and a bunch of subscribers where we went over to Fama Harry. And that video going and pop up here right now in the end screen. And I recommend you watch it because it's a rotate, it's a curry, and it's a good vibes. Go watch it.